What's up guys, welcome to Munchkins Gaming, where we take your gaming to the next level. This is Munchkins logging in to bring you another Exos Heroes video. And in today's video, we are going to take a look at the core reversal for um, the FC Tantalo um, Banga of Parallel World. So, um, yeah, I know I haven't made a lot of Exos Heroes video lately, it's just I haven't really got the time. And if I did want to make something, a lot of people have already got a video out already and I thought to myself, you know, probably wasting my time <laughs> since uh, there's uh, quite a lot of uh, people already, you know, making videos out of it. Uh, and I'm always kind of late to the party because of um, work and I guess the time difference really affects my, my um, ability to make a video really quickly as well. But enough of that. Uh, like I said, this is a core reversal. However, I honestly, there's really not much that they've changed. They've basically just added uh, two passives for FC Tantalo. So you still have the block to the Dragon Knight Blessing, which she's already got. And of course the Heart Strike, which I think is a very interesting um, passive altogether. Uh, and it's a very good one as well. Uh, the only issue with this is it does take a couple of turns or if you have a Banga family, I think uh, it would be much better. Uh, uh, inflicting heart strike but if you only have one for say for your team you just don't get to level 3 where it's insanely good see you deal 200% damage to all enemies upon activation uh, the afflict target with blind which is really really great then you afflict 2000 damage to target every turn so that is really really good um, once you get to level three though but um, so the way it works is basically uh, so you afflict, uh, afflict heart strike level one to one enemy with the highest health when the battle starts uh, this increases the level of mark when the target with the mark is damaged by an ally with the heart strike skill that's why I said the more you have this um, the bang of family the better so you, you get to level three much much quicker you also obtain one mana per enemy mark level at the beginning of the turn. The effect of the mark increases as the level increases and it stacks. All effects can't be removed. That's the important thing here. So once you're at level 3, the pretty much is GG, right? Uh, afflicts heart strike level 1 to one enemy with the highest health upon mark target. So that's what I just said earlier. Um, but the biggest thing they've changed for FC Tantalo is going to be overpower which is an overtime effect this decreases the critical damage of the target by 300% so I, I guess that's okay um, basically you know he, he's sort of like removing crit as a factor and if if someone does crit, it does, it won't do as much damage so um, that's really great for a tank and honestly Crit is kind of like a big thing right now, you know, in PvP especially. Uh, if you crit, you can basically one-shot, um, you know, uh, an opponent, especially with Fear of the Abyss becoming a, uh, became a factor in PvP as well. So having this, I think, is uh, pretty good. Uh, the only thing I can think of, I think this, what what it means here is it's for itself only because of the target by 300% and it's not really sure uh, are you targeting yourself or are you targeting someone but, but it's a passive which doesn't make any sense I really wish they make sense more of you know the explanation of passives and stuff now the other thing that they've added is sworn friend this grants the damage immunity one time when an ally takes a critical hit damage that is actually pretty good as well but it is only for one time um, yeah it's not once per turn it's not once per round it's one time only <laughs> um, again it's still pretty good because you know the rounds um, we don't get past the second round most of the time PvP right now at least in singles don't last don't get past the uh, second round once you're in the second round it's pretty much either you win or you lose so 
um, having this probably will extend that to maybe you know a third round or something along those lines now as for his skills nothing really change and this is something I don't like about his skills <laughs> and that is he is a poisoner like he's a damage overtime dealer he has a lot of poison effects which in all honesty is good in PvE but in PvP I mean it's just not that great it, I, I correct me if actually let me know down in the comments below if the damage over time takes over heart strike I haven't tried it since I don't have uh, you know uh, all this banga family to try it out um, but if poison really ticks the like heart strike, I think that that's okay. But dragon blood really counters this, right? Uh, and we still have Rira. Rira is still part of um, the team composition right now. So um, yeah, the poison is nice and all, but I just think. It's a, sometimes it's a liability. That's what I would just say to that. Uh, the great thing about him is, of course, he does buff um, the skills. I mean, the allies for like attack and defense. Uh, I mean, block up. Uh, so it's a nice little thing if you have, say, uh, what's her name? Um, was it FC Brook? I, I think it was FC Brook. Let me let's take a quick look um, it's not FC Otard because Otard is the debuff one I think it's angry lamb was it angry lamb um, I think, yeah if the caster has a buff recovery or positive effects she will attack up together with an ally once every turn. So if you have, you know, FC Tantalo, you can make sure that, you know, FC Brook gets uh, a, an attack every single time. So, I, I mean, it's just, that's just one example um, of how to take advantage of those buffs. But nonetheless, it's he's actually was already pretty good to begin with. I think out of all the hamster family, I'm just gonna call them that. Uh, he was, I think, one of the top ones, um, and I think Jin was the other one. Obviously, uh, I like Jin more. I actually tried to get Jin uh, in the previous rerun, I suppose. Yeah. So the one where you can pick which one you, of the Banga family you want to grab. I actually picked Jin over, over Tantalo. Um, despite Tantalo was, you know, pretty interesting because of the buffs that he provided. But now that he has more tankish ability, I think is uh, is just making him like above the above the rest. So. Uh, it doesn't look like it's a lot, but I think it's actually um, pretty good. I'm not really sure why it's an overtime effect. <laughs> anyway, um, it, this is only going to be a quick video anyway because there's really not much they've changed to FC Tantalo. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And let me know down in the comments below what you think of FC Tantalo. Do you think he can change the... Uh, PvP uh, meta right now or you think he's just another team 2 or team 3 tank that you will probably use let me know down in the comments below anyway that is it remember to click like and subscribe if you haven't already it does help the channel guys I really do appreciate it if you do um, make sure to follow me on Twitter and on Facebook as well at Watch Kids Gaming this is Watch Kids logging off thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next level